Hey, 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 it's me, it's Justin Chamness. This is the Real Estate Wholesalers Club. This is the four weeks to your first deal accountability team session, the first one ever. The first one ever. And tonight, I'm talking to the serious students out there who want to make application of the principles that lead to the first deal. These are habits. And we're going to develop some great habits in the next four weeks. Tonight, we're kicking it off. I've never been more excited about anything that we've done so far. All right, let's jump right in. If you're in quick flip real estate, this is going to change your life. Hey, 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 I'm here. It's Justin Chamness, the Real Estate Wholesalers Club. Just checking in right here about wholesale lease options in the four weeks to your first deal, teams. All right, who we got out there tonight? Who's, who's on with me? I got three people with me. Tell me who you are. Let's get this interactive stuff moving along. Let's make it interactive tonight. Who's who's on board with us tonight? Wholesaling lease options. This is virtual wholesaling lease options, guys. This is not just lease options. This is virtual lease options. Virtual wholesaling lease options. All right. Who's with me? I know I got some folks out here. Is uh is Facebook going to let us see the comments? Are they going to let us see what's up tonight? Scott Kennedy is with me. Yes, sir. What's up, Scott Kennedy? Ty Beck, he's with me. He's reaching out to Tyler Meyer. Scotty boy, what's going down, guys? Hey, man, I know we got a big bunch of group. Of, we got a big group of people wanting to jump in here. And we also got a big bunch of people that are going to catch us on the replay. And I find that unfortunate that not everybody can actually be on the live four weeks to your first deal accountability team sessions because I'm going to teach you guys the nuts and bolts. That's right. Now, this is not for what's going on, Ryan. What's up? What's going on, Ryan Webb? What's going on? How are you, sir? Hope you're good. Hailing from the great state of Texas. All right, Alifa, how are you? Good to see you here. Yep, people are rolling in. I want to start out introduction to the first session of four weeks to your first deal, accountability teams. That is exactly what this is. I was trying to listen to you guys, trying to listen. And what I think I heard is, is that I want to get to my first deal and I need somebody to show me step by step and help me be accountable okay well if that's you then this is designed for you okay now this is not designed for folks who don't have any knowledge whatsoever alright there is free knowledge available alright and this is something that should be kind of a prerequisite to this four week session although if you haven't done the video training modules yet there is still yet time you can catch up and be still on track next week okay we have four Thursday night sessions this month this night we are going to get set up yes set up to close deals okay and Next week, we are going to talk about generating leads for property deals, right? For these wholesale lease option deals, these virtual wholesale lease option deals, you've got to generate leads. I'm going to show you how to generate leads on demand next week, okay? And then next week as well, we are going to be doing some role-playing, okay? Not whips and chains. 
phone calls, all right, and text messages. We're going to be doing role play with talking to the seller leads that we generate next week. We're going to generate some leads next week, show you how to do that, and then we're going to introduce the conversation that you're going to be having with them. In week three, we are not going to be doing role play anymore. We are going to generate leads, and then we are going to interact with those leads live, on camera, talking with and texting with motivated sellers and homeowners that we have reached out to and they are coming back to us as leads. All right, that is week three. Week number four is finding buyers. Okay, so you can see we are hitting the majors here. <laughs> we are absolutely crushing the majors here. In week one, we're going to get you set up. Week two, we're going to show you how to get leads. And then we're going to introduce the conversation you're going to have with those leads. And week three, we're going to generate leads again. And I'm going to show you live on camera us talking to those leads so that you can mimic these conversations in your business. And then number four, week four, we're going to find buyers. Boom! I just said it. I just said it. That's how you do it. Those are the big majors. So tonight, what I want to do, the first order of business, is I want to clear away all of the theory problems. Okay? All of the theory problems. Now listen to me, listen to me. You've you got to trust me a little bit. Some of you out there have been through 2011 different courses and trainings and gurus and mentors and coaches and blah 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 ah right okay you've been through a lot of them I've been through a lot of them too it's time now to get very focused on a few specific skills that lead to checks these are the skills right that these gurus don't really talk about too often in their courses. They will briefly go over some of these ideas and topics and they'll give you, they'll throw a script at you, but they are, none of them are actually role playing on camera with you most of the time. And most of the time, if they are role playing with you, they are definitely not doing live calls on a weekly, monthly basis in front of you so you can learn. That is what the Real, Real Estate Wholesalers Club is about, is giving you the real deal, okay? And I said giving you the real deal. And I say giving you the real deal because there's going to be some things that you can pick up for free right here at the Real Estate Wholesalers Club. And I'm going to show you what they are right now. If you have not been to www.realestatewholesalersclub.com, then you need to go there tonight after this session. Okay, don't turn me off to go there, but if you haven't been to www.realestatewholesalersclub.com and registered to get your free training modules and all of those op other opportunities, then go there tonight after this session, all right? If you have already been to, now listen to me, if you've already been to realestatewholesalersclub.com and you've already registered and you want to get back to your training modules, it's real easy. It's justinchamness.com, okay? Hey, Rob, what's going on? Good to see you, dude. I'm glad you're here. we got a nice little crew right here tonight. And... Uh, we're talking about wholesale and lease options in the four weeks of your first deal program uh, that 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 we're that the club is putting out. We're putting this out, right? Because we want to we want to show you exactly how to do the skills that you need to have in order to get to your first deal. All right. If you have not gone through the training, guys or gals, you can go to realestatewholesalersclub.com and sign up for it. If you've already done that and you're trying to get back to the training modules, go to justinchamness.com. All right, justinchamness.com. And see, that's where I'm at right now. You see me at the top. 
it's it's a silly picture and I feel almost embarrassed about it, okay? It's a personal it's a personal problem. <clears throat> if you scroll down, you'll see real estate free real estate lease option wholesaler training modules. All right. You can click that big giant red button and it'll take you to the training modules if you haven't done the training modules yet. And the reason why I'm taking you here now is because I want you to be able to get a lot of this theory at home, okay? This is just like school, kind of. I want you to do some homework and get the theory of lease options, okay, from the training modules. And then during the four weeks to your first deal tr accountability team sessions, I want you to get practicality, okay? Practicality. I want, you, I want to show you the theory in motion, motion real estate. Boom. Gosh, I love this. this isn't this fun? Okay. First, training modules. If you haven't done those, do those. Okay. Um, you'll see here in the training modules, there is very, very much so step by step. Okay. What we are going to be covering is we're going to be covering the skill sets that need to be learned right in order to accomplish your first deal so in these sessions so get your theory here and then at these sessions we're going to give you the practicality now i'm also going to ask you to do some other homework this week okay this is part of your homework assignment if you need to write it down hey watch the training modules get my theory down learn my theory learn what a lease option is, learn how it works, what documents and so on and so forth are involved in it, kind of get a good feel for what it, what the flow of it is, okay, the theory of it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now, with that being said, let's go back to the screen where I'm not actually uh, screen sharing. <laughs> okay, here we are. I'm not screen sharing now. Now, are there any theory questions? Are there any theory questions? I'm going to stop right here and pause because I want to do a little Q&A session right now. Questions about lease options. I want to clear up the theory, right? If you've got theory questions, if you've gone through the training modules and you have questions about lease options and how they work, I want you guys to feel like you have the floor right now. Hey, thanks for joining us, Spencer. I know you had other plans tonight, man, and you made it. You know, you made it way here, and I, I, I respect that, dude. I respect the hell out of that. That's the hustle. That's the grind. I appreciate it, man. Um, let's clear up any theory problems we have. And while you guys are thinking about your questions on theory. Wholesale lease option theory. Guys, I want this to be super informal. There's no dumb questions. While you're while you're thinking about your your theory questions, I'm gonna go refill on some water. Okay? I'll be right back. But now when I get back, I'll I'll answer whatever questions you got. Just one minute. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. We don't have any theory questions tonight, guys. Okay, good enough, fair enough. No theory questions. You guys understand lease options pretty well. You feel like you have a good basis of understanding for how it works, um, what the paperwork is, all of that good stuff. Okay then if that's the case that's great and if you have questions as we're moving forward please feel free to drop those into the chats <clears throat> rob johnson's got a question are you contacting multifamily small time owners for lease options um 
tech no i'm i'm not honestly rob um I, but i'm not against it man and uh the reason why i'm not is because i'm i'm focusing on the single family residents but there's nothing wrong with focusing on multifamily. Um, I'm not against it. It would work just as easily and just as well if you have a motivated seller that wants to do a lease option or wholesale lease option deal with you. Absolutely, man. That's a good question. But typically, I focus on single family residents. I, I, I focus on what I call the bread and butter. Lease options involve the bread and butter concept <laughs> can you tell i'm a little bit of a country boy kind of uh i've got lots of uh funny colloquialisms i guess i that i would throw out there uh anyway i don't is that a word colloquial colloquialism um <laughs> yes uh the bread and butter theory the bread and butter theory is is that you're looking in lease options and what I'm looking for is the three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. That's it. All right. If I'm if I'm looking for a lease option, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, and the reason why I'm looking for that is is because that's the house everybody wants, right? <laughs> you want to live in a three bedroom, two bath? I, I guarantee you. If you live in a two bedroom right now. Or a one bedroom, your ass wants to live in a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. Right? And that is the standard. That's kind of the standard. So I know if I can get a single family residence that is, you know, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, I can find a tenant buyer. Boom! I can find a down payment. Boom! I can find that kind of money. Right, and I can find it easy street. I can find it quick. Oh my goodness! And with the costs of housing rising in in certain metropolitan areas in this country, and and I'm living in one right now. If you get a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage with a lease option, <whistles> woo, you found gold. You found gold. You're going to make some money. I mean, you're going to make some good money, right? Uh, Alifa says, when is it not a scenario to buy on a lease option? That's a great question. Oh, my goodness. I love this question. When is it not a scenario to buy on a lease option? You are going to want to not buy on a lease option. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> when the house is not livable, okay? In other words, when it's just an ugly house and it's not a pretty enough house for people to want to live in. Because remember, you're wanting to find a tenant buyer. You're wanting to find a tenant buyer. So these people are going to want to live in this property, okay? So that is one major, in my, in my experiences here, that is a no-no. I will not go into a lease option deal with a property that I feel like is not a good living situation for a tenant. Because that's what I'm going to be looking for. Do I want to be responsible for, you know, slumming out this crappy, crap-ass house, right, basically, uh... And trying to find a tenant buyer for it, uh, you know, no. And another reason is because the tenant buyer, if he's got a brain in his head at all, he's going to say, hey, why, why would I give you this money as a upfront non-refundable fee when I could just put it into this house? I'll put it into this house for you. Because, you know, look at all this crap needs to be done to it. Yeah, you know, just forget that. Bread and butter, guys. Three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. That's bread and butter. Will I do a three bedroom, two bath, one car garage? Will I do a three bedroom, one and a half bath? Sure. Will I do a nice two bedroom, one and a half bath? Sure. Right. Uh, another reason, another scenario where I would not do a lease option is when the homeowner's payment to their mortgage is 
more than the fair market rent. Okay. In other words, if they have a mortgage payment of a thousand dollars a month, but the uh, something just made a sound at me, man, and I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. It sounded like a cool sound. Uh, if they have a thousand dollars a month mortgage payment, and I can only rent that house out in that neighborhood for eight fifty, I'm not going to do that. Then it looks like. Oh, we got a couple subscribers. That's great, man. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, that's another reason, why, another scenario where I won't get involved in a lease option. Okay, it is if I can't, if the rent is not the same at least or <laughs> more than their mortgage payment, I got to get out because I'm not going to be able to find somebody to tenant by that place. And pay the thousand a month because that's only an eight fifty a month kind of deal. All right, does that make sense? Um, all right, do I prefer to do this than just rather than just wholesaling? Um, I can tell you that my personal preference. Okay, and everyone is different. All right, my personal preference is the ugly house wholesaling the virtual wholesaling that's my favorite I love to do the virtual co-wholesale <laughs> in fact I've built this entire business model of mine on the virtual co-wholesale so that's primarily what I do and I'm real excited about Monday night because we're going to talk about the we're, we're getting into the you know four weeks to your first deal accountability team sessions for that virtual co-wholesale on Monday night <clears throat> But that is my personal preference. Now, that is not because one is necessarily better than the other. Okay, that is just because uh, that is my per personal preference. I know some real estate investors whose 90% of their business comes from lease options. Okay. And then I know some that 90% of their business comes from doing, you know, regular ugly house wholesaling. So, you know, that kind of thing. Anyways, that's that's my preference, but it's not because of the things, okay? It's not because of the things. It's not because one's better than the other. Hey, Marie, what's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Marie. Uh, what I recommend is being a fully well-rounded wholesaler, okay? And by that, I mean that you want to... Um, not just have lease options or, or wholesaling lease options or virtual wholesaling lease options, whatever you want to call it, okay? N not just knowing that. And, and then also not just knowing ugly house wholesaling, okay? But also having a real good grasp of bank-owned wholesaling, of virtual co-wholesaling or joint venture partner wholesaling, Okay. Uh, get a good grasp on all of the aspects of wholesaling, okay? All of the different ways to do a wholesale, okay? There's lots and lots of wholesaling out there, opportunities, and it's not like it's just an ugly house. There is pretty house wholesaling, okay? I've got, I've got some information that I'm putting together on that, and you can see that at justinchamas.com. But we're coming out with a course on pretty house wholesaling, okay? So that is subject to wholesaling. Now, if you're just an ugly house wholesaler, then you're not doing pretty house wholesaling, right? If you're just an ugly house wholesaler, then you're not doing wholesaling lease options. If you're just a wholesaling lease options investor, then you're not doing you know, the pretty house subject to wholesaling, or you're not doing the virtual co-wholesaling, you're not doing the bank-owned wholesaling, you know, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. If you're going to be, I, this is just how I feel about it, okay? This is how I feel about it. I feel like if I'm going to be a wholesaler, I want to be the best wholesaler I can be. I'm going to focus on one technique at a time until I can make money with it, right? And then I'll add another technique, all right? That's why the Real Estate Wholesalers Club here offers two free avenues, two free pathways, you know, the ugly house and the, the, the virtual wholesaling lease options. 
and then we offer these these four week accountability team sessions and the reason why we're doing that is because that's a great way to get started but you probably want to develop your business and your knowledge level as a wholesaler into bank owned right into virtual co-wholesale right <laughs> into pretty house wholesaling or subject to wholesaling all of those things so you know that's basically my thoughts on that I, I appreciate you asking that Marie all right Alifa says are pre foreclosures a good situation for lease options <coughs> Mike I was thinking about you today man I was thinking about you today, Mike. Let's do this. Let's talk about Mike for a second. Mike, just you being around, man. Just you being around brightens my day. It really, really does. Just knowing that you're watching this video right now, it touches me, dude. I've missed you. And I just want to let you know that I'm very, very glad. I'm very glad that you're here tonight, man. <laughs> Mike, I did. I miss you, dude. I, w I was thinking about you earlier today. All right, let's get back to Alifa's questions. Are pre-foreclosures a good situation for lease options? Um, yes and no. The reason why they are yes is because they're motivated, <laughs> right? These folks are definitely freaking motivated. Uh, they they are going to get out of this house one way or another. Hey, dude, no problem for being late, Mike. It's really okay. Don't worry about it, bro. All right. So pre foreclosures are good in that scenario for a, a lease option, but they are bad for lease options because that homeowner already is back in payments. Their arrears in payments. And in order to make a deal work like that, you would have to have somebody come in with a large enough non-refundable option fee to catch them up and still make a paycheck. And so I don't recommend them for that very reasons because they're all behind. And then I've heard some people say, well, make them pay the arrears and then you can take it over. Okay, well, but dude, if they had the damn arrears, they wouldn't be getting foreclosed on in the first place. Right? I mean, it's not like they just made a conscious decision. Oh, I think I'm going to stop paying my mortgage. No, they, they ran out of money. Right? So, yep. That's what I think about pre-foreclosures. The best motivated sellers for wholesale lease options, guys. The best motivated sellers for wholesale lease options are your divorcees, are your bankruptcies, are your job transfers your people like that because they are in a situation where they have to move and it's not because they are behind on their payment okay Rob wants to know do you think short sales are coming back well man I can't say for sure be honest with you I really can't uh, short sales coming back I know that I do wholesaling for, from bank-owned properties. And I can tell you lately, the banks have been tight, tight, tight. They have not been wanting to wheel and deal as much as I want them to wheel and deal. So I don't know if, you know, maybe. I'm not really a big short sale guy. In fact, to truth be known, I've never even done one, man. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> I've never even done one. And that's the real talk right there about my experience level with short sales. <laughs> uh, all right, wholesale and lease options, guys. Theory questions. Theory questions. We're clearing up the theory fog tonight. We're clearing up the theory fog. What is the theory fog? You guys got questions about how it works? I've had some good ones so far, man. Any more? Any more good questions about wholesaling lease options and how it works? The theory of it all? And then we're going to talk about the meat of tonight, which is not going to take that long. And it's going to be getting set up to do deals so that next week we can generate leads on demand. 
right? And then we can also introduce the conversation and talking to sellers. Week number three, we're going to actually, well, in week two, next week, we're going to do role play conversations with sellers. And then we're going to do week three, we're going to generate leads on demand again. And then we're going to actually do some live, live interactions with these folks. With these beautiful people! Yeah, that's right. So, so what's going on, everybody? Is that it? Is that all the questions? What's going on, Anthony? What's going on, dude? Good to see you, man. Thanks for watching. Rob says, hard to deal with banks. Thanks for being real. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm all about being real. Uh, you know, there's no sense in not being real. If you're not real, people are going to find it out eventually anyway, right? Leads on demand, baby! <laughs> yes, leads on demand. Am I ever going to talk about joint venture? Are we talking, Marie, are we talking about joint venture co-wholesaling on ugly houses? Because that's Monday night. That's Monday night. We're doing that Monday night. Yo, yo, what's up? Keep it up, buddy. Hey, man, I appreciate the encouragement. Leads on demand, baby! Leads on demand, baby! All right, that's enough of that shit. Uh, okay. If you get into a lease option and you agree on price, Ryan Webb, hailing from the great state of Texas, coming up with the question... Ready? If I get into a lease option and we agree on price, say for 150000 for three years, then home prices dump. House is then worth a hundred k. Am I screwed? No, not screwed at all. <coughs> And the reason why you're not screwed is because you actually did a wholesale lease option. So you assigned your lease option over to your tenant buyer. So they took over your lease option. So technically you are completely Ryan Webb, Helen from the great state of Ohio. All right, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm trying, you know. Sometimes my memory isn't as good as I want it to be, and I'm sorry about that. But hailing from the great state of Ohio, <laughs> it's Ryan Webb. Yeah, nope, you don't get in any, you don't get in any trouble. Here's what I do, guys, when I'm talking to the seller when I'm setting up a lease option. Mr. Homeowner. In case the market goes down and your house is no longer worth $150,000, these fine folks are going to have an option to purchase the house at $150,000, but you won't be able to sell it to them for $150,000 because it will never appraise for that. And so at that point, and in that worst case scenario, Mr. Seller, you might be in a position where you'll have to consider lowering your price in order to help them buy just because of the market. Do you understand that? And does that make sense? That's it. That's it. All right. That's it. Um, talk about joint venture lease option wholesaling. Michael Batista. Talk about joint venture lease option wholesaling. You know what? I'm doing a joint venture lease option wholesaling gig right now. Right now. I've got a lady that I met through this group that lives in Ohio, I think. She lives in the same place as Ryan does. That must be like a really cool place. Hey, you guys know that I actually graduated high school in Ohio in a little place called Tip City. <laughs> Tip 
Cape City is north of Dayton, about 18 miles. Okay, so north of Dayton, 18 miles. That's where I went to school the last two years of high school, and I graduated there. But anyway, there's a lady in Tip City, Ohio, who has the ability and the desire to do uh, the scraping and the phone texting and who has the ability to have the initial conversations and lead qualifying and getting property deals under contract. And then what me and my team do, uh, we work the buyer side. Okay, so my entire business of wholesale lease options is de is dependent on the co-wholesale model right so that's how that works one of you has to be bringing the property deals and the other one has to be bringing the you know basically the the buyers the tenant buyers okay mike nordzik i hope i said that right mike can you talk a little bit about how to get in with the banks what are we talking about mike you're gonna have to give me more information man are we talking about wholesale and lease options or are we talking about something different? Uh, just just chime in and let me know. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it is on. It's on 75, man. 75. Be, better be careful to stay alive. Woo. Am I right? Very good, Mike. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's talk about getting set up, you guys. Let me jump over here for the screen share again. And uh, we will do a little bit of this action. Screen sharing. Here's part of your homework, guys. I know I've been kind of funny and silly, but trying to have fun and keep it a little more interesting. But let's jump right into being serious again, okay? Um... If you haven't done the training modules, go back and do the training modules. You can find them at justinchamness.com. All right? If you if you haven't, do that this week before you come back to the sessions next week. All right? Second of all, homework. Go here in module number two, the first conversation with the seller. And slide down here and click the materials button. And let it take you to the materials for step number two all right because there's some homework that you need to do in order to be ready to talk to sellers all right it's pulling up you just have to be patient with me because I'm also live broadcasting <laughs> now I do have this document in a word format and I also have this document in a PDF format. The PDF format is for an example, all right? And the Word document is for you to edit, right? Which is what I want you to do this week. I want you to edit this document. And I'm going to pull it up right now so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But you, you'll need to take this document and download it in the doc format and with your word or whatever you know this Microsoft program stuff is you know edit this thing and put in your, your logo and if you're like hey I don't have a logo then go to fiverr.com and pay five bucks or something for one right or just make one right or just go without it but put your name on it right take my name off of it and my phone number <laughs> right and then am I th actually this email address doesn't even work anymore but um, yeah make this yours okay and in doing that I want you to read it and I want you to understand it because in this letter here it explains all about what we're talking about right it explains the lease, the lease option to the seller, the questions that they would have, the answers to those questions, it has all of that stuff, right? It has down here at the bottom, the bottom line, right? And then what are the lease option benefits to the tenant buyer, right? To the landlord or the seller, to, you know, to the homeowner. These are things that you want to be very, very familiar with. 
and this is a document you are going to want to modify because you are going to want to send this to your sellers. You are going to want to provide this to your sellers. You are going to, after your initial phone conversation, you are going to want to email them this. Okay? Or you're going to want to create a link. Right? And you're going to want to send that to them via text. Because this is a great professional piece that shows that you have a legitimate business and an a real offer opportunity, right? Now, uh, yep, I'll get back to these questions here in a minute, guys. All right, you're going to want to modify this document and make it yours because this is a selling tool. This is a tool that you're going to use to help you as a crutch with the homeowners with the sellers, the landlords that you're going to be talking to. The reason why you're going to need this is because, one, it adds some validity to you, right? And I don't really know what Hemlane is, Michael. You have to tell me what that is, man. Tell me what, what we're talking about, brother. Um, all right. So, homework assignment. Do the modules if you haven't. Number two, get in here and modify this document right while you're at it go down here to the lead property information sheet and familiarize yourself with the stars you see the black stars these black stars are the talking points for the conversation the first conversation that we're gonna have with the homeowner seller landlord so just be familiar with this now next week, we're going to pull this out and we're going to do some role play conversations in front of you, right? And then we're also going to generate leads right in front of you with the automated REI. Boom! I just said it! The automated REI. Boom! Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. <coughs> We are definitely, definitely generating leads next week and role-playing the seller conversation. Definitely. Now, with that being said, that is your homework. Make sure you get your theory down and then make sure you get your paperwork set up. If you want to be ahead of the game, go down to step three and step five or whatever it is and get the other materials and modify those, a.k.a. they are the agreements, okay? They are the agreements. You might want to modify those. Put your state in it. Put your, you know, wherever it is your market is that you're going to be working, right? That is another piece of homework that you need to decide. I recommend for virtual coho sale that you definitely um, virtual coho sale or wholesaling lease options, either one. Okay, just to be clear, that you definitely start in your own home market and then add other markets after you've proven your process at home. Okay, I. I'm not saying you can't start 800 miles away from home. I'm just saying I believe it to be easier to start in your home market, right? Uh, will it modify with Google Sheets? Yeah, you should be able to open this up with Google um, Google Docs, Alifa. And Marie, what time will be on Monday in California? It'll be 5 p.m. in California, 7 p.m. Central Time, okay? Um, Michael says, Hemlane is a company that is nationwide property management company. They're basically a nationwide boots on the ground, so it lets people get deals under contract anywhere they want with out having to worry about being grounded in an area. That sounds pretty dope, man. <laughs> that sounds pretty dope. I'm not familiar with it, but, uh, dude, 
I would love for you to be on this session on week number three with a, with a demonstration, a live demonstration of generating leads on demand. If you would consider that. Just think about that, bro. Um, and you can talk about him, Lane, too, if you want. Ryan Webb says, thanks, Michael Batista. You know what, man? Batista is one of my least favorite wrestlers on WWE. But but Michael Batista is one of my favorite dudes in the entire whole world. And I talk to Michael Batista like every day. Because he's a cool dude. Okay, so your homework assignment, number one, is to do the training modules if you haven't. Number two is to go through and modify those documents. Hey, what's up, Dre? Y'all thought I forgot about Dre. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't forget about Dre. What's up, Dre? Go through, modify your documents. That's all Ryan Webb thinks about is WWE. Hey, dude, me too. Matter of fact, it's Thursday night. I'm wishing that they, I wish they had a show on tonight. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Do your homework, guys. Modify those agreements. Modify that document, that seller document, the seller leave behind, and make them yours and learn them, okay? Learn them. Learn how they read, learn how they flow. In the other documents, there is definitely instructions on what documents who goes where and who signs what so you know if you just take the time to read and study through the agreements and do the modules this week and modify those documents and make them yours and get ready to launch into your market next week next week launching into your market into your marketplace we're getting in your freaking head right and then we're getting into your heart and then we're getting into your neighborhood and then we're getting into your car no we're not getting in your car but yeah we're getting into your market next week and we're going to be doing some you know what we're going to generate leads next week michael batista and then we're going to do role play and then the week after we're going to generate leads again and then we're going to do the actual live interactions with the sellers. Hey, you're welcome, Alifa. WCW always had WCW Thursday Night Thunder. Yeah, man. The, you know, this this fascist shit, man, where there can only be one. There can only it's like it's like Vince McMahon is like Highlander. There can only be one. Let's talk about you for a second before we sign off. Hey, Mike. I'm glad. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very excited for the next three weeks, man. Me too, dude. And I'm excited for Monday night, too, if you want to do virtual co-wholesale. We want to show you the skills that it takes to get to your first deal. We're not talking about theory. Theory is what you're going to get from the training modules and from the studying the agreements and the documents. But what I'm going to show you right here in these sessions is the real concepts, the real doing of the thing, the skill sets that's required to make money in real estate. Okay, so don't miss, don't miss out. And don't get behind and think, oh, well, I'm not going to modify those agreements. I don't have time for that. Well, shit, if you ain't got time for that, you ain't got time to make money right make them look good make them look like something you'd be proud of this is your business modify those make them yours right make them yours that's how it works and we're here right here on the Facebook group don't forget if you got questions post ask us right here on the wall ask us right here on the wall and when one of you gets a deal this month, I want to have a video testimonial from your ass. All right. <laughs> video testimonial. 
That's my worst attempt at being mean. Okay. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. It's been almost an hour, and this inspiring music is carrying me away. So, I'm just gonna sit back now and think about all that money. I'm just gonna sit back there and think about all that money. All that money out there doing wholesale and lease options. All that money. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You gotta get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.